everybody welcome welcome to this week's soulful business training i am so glad to be back with you guys i feel like it's been forever since i've actually been here it's only been three weeks but um yeah welcome if you guys are here let me know comment in the chat for me hashtag live if you're watching this live hashtag replay if you're catching this on the replay it's totally fine to catch things on replays as a matter of fact i am going to put this uh, video training under the guides section underneath the monday night training so just a reminder every monday four o'clock i go live here to share tips strategies ahas insights behind the scenes things that are designed specifically to help you build your six-figure business with heart with soul and without all of the aggressive sales tactics that can feel so out of alignment for us as heart-centered entrepreneurs so welcome into the community if you're brand new here hi i'm so glad you're here i'm chris williams i am a soulful business and leadership coach and I love supporting women wellness entrepreneurs, especially coaches, nutritionists, holistic practitioners, energy workers on monetizing the certifications that they have to create impact in the world, right? So tonight's theme training is all about understanding the numbers behind actually creating a six figure business. And I don't know about you guys, but if you're brand new, chances are it feels kind of like way out there on understanding, I want a six figure business, I would like consistent 10K months, and I'm not even really sure, like, what does it mean? Like, how many people do I need to get in front of? How many things do I need to sell or offers do I need to sell? And so if this is you, if you think that this is gonna help you, let me know, pop it in the chat, just give me a yes, or type numbers in the chat for me so that I know that this is something that's gonna be really, really valuable for you. So when I was first building my business, I had no idea what the numbers were looking like. I was like, what do you even mean numbers? Or what numbers am I even supposed to be looking at? What, you know, I had absolutely no idea. So I want to just kind of give you guys a behind the scenes look at what the real numbers are behind actually having a six figure business, because there's a lot that goes into a six figure business. So we're talking about a six figure business, meaning that you are creating six figures in income not just in sales, but in income. Why? Because you can create six figures in sales and not get all of it in this year, right? So there's a difference between actually revenue generating that's coming into your bank account and sales. So what we're talking about is creating 10K months, consistent 10K months as revenue that's popping into your bank account as cash, not just sales. So there's a big difference. And when I realized that, I was like, oh, isn't that interesting? Like I could have $10,000 in sales, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I've got $10,000 coming into my bank account because I might have, uh, have sold that $10,000 or that $5,000 uh, offer in uh, maybe a three month program or a six month program. And so things are actually dripping into your business instead of just coming all in at once. So just to be really, really clear, we're talking about income in your business, actually cash that lands in your bank account, not just sales, not just sales. Great to have $10,000 in sales, but what we wanna have are $10,000 in repeat income coming into your business every single month. That's the first thing. And actually you don't even need 10K. You need about $8,000, 888 something. If we were to take 100 grand, $100,000 divided by 12, it would be 8,800 and something. So between eight and $9,000 of cash landing in your bank account every single month. Why is this important to know? Because if we are only looking at it as sales, then that might not transpire to actually helping you hit the six figure mark. So I want you to really understand what this means in terms of how many offers you would need to sell in order to actually have $10,000 land in your bank account month after month after month, or 8,800 and whatever month after month so that you can hit that six figure mark, right? Yeah, so this is one of the reasons why I talk a lot about having at least one high-end offer. And I wrote a post, I think it was yesterday, 
about the difference between selling a $97 offer and selling a $3,000 offer. And the truth is it's actually a whole heck of a lot easier to sell a $3,000 offer than it is to sell a $97 offer and to have a core high-end offer as part of what I like to call as your offer suites or your business model, right? So now we're talking about business model and business model is what are the offers that you have that you are going to sell to bring in the income into your business. You have to make sales in order to create income. So for those of you that are like, oh, I wanna make sales, but I don't wanna feel salesy, I wanna share something very, very specific with you. And this is a determining factor. When you say you don't want to be salesy, that is actually an energy, that's not an action. Salesy is a feeling. Salesy is an energy that you are in, a way that you're showing up in the world, which is an energy. It's not necessarily an action. An action is completely different. You need to make sales in your business. Absolutely. Without sales, that means you're helping nobody. It means nobody is having a happier, healthier life. Nobody's losing the weight. Nobody's eating better. Nobody's feeling better. So you have to make sales in your business, but the way that you go about making those sales doesn't need to feel or be in the energy of salesy. Picking up what I'm putting down, type in, give me a heart in the chat if this is making sense for you. I really want to know that this is landing because it's a very, very different experience. You can do things in a very heart-centered way that feel good and natural and in alignment without having it feel salesy. Okay, so let me just clarify that. So now we're gonna go back to sales. Not feeling salesy, but how many actual sales do you need to make in your business in order to create consistent eight to 10K months? So this is where we take a look at your offer suite. And we absolutely need to have at least one high-end offer because if all you're doing is trying to get to six figures by selling $97 offers, you've got to sell a lot of $97 offers, which means you need to get in front of a lot of people, which means you need to have a large audience or a large email list or a giant Facebook group, or you're paying for advertising to get in front of that many people. So while on the surface, it sounds like, oh, that's gotta be easy just to sell a $97 offer because we're looking at it as a low price point it's actually not. It's actually a whole lot easier to sell a $3,000 offer, a $5,000 offer, a $15,000 offer than it is to sell a $97 offer. So I want to just kind of do the math uh, on this. And I want you to think of this in terms of a garden. I want you to think about a garden as being the people that you are needing to get in front of, right? And I want you to think about seeds, right? We're in the middle of summer now. Um, by the way, for those of you that are out in Phoenix and in the heat, I am just sending you guys so much love. I know it's been really, really hot across many parts of the United States and even other parts of the world. I was in France last, not last week, but the week before, and it was really, really wicked hot. So. I digress, let's come back. So seeds, I want you to think when we are planting a garden, right? If I wanted to plant squash, for example, I love to plant squash, I love squash. I am not just gonna stick one seed in each hole. I'm gonna stick probably three seeds per hole. Why is that? Because for those of you that are gardeners, we know that sometimes the seeds don't sprout, sometimes they don't come up, sometimes something just happens, maybe they come up later. As a matter of fact, I had a whole flower bed of wildflowers that I planted one year and not one of them came up. But the following year, the whole thing came up and it was absolutely beautiful. And my son actually painted a beautiful um, picture of those uh, poppies and wildflowers. So here's what I wanna say. And that is we wanna make sure that we are planting enough seeds in order for them to actually come to fruition, right? And then for it to grow into a plant that we can actually harvest the fruit from. 
Okay, so I want you to think about your business being that way. You need to have a high-end offer and a middle offer. So we're gonna be talking today about two core main offers. And I want you to understand that when we've got two core main offers, you're actually going to need to plant less seeds with those two core end offers than you need to plant with a $97 offer. So again, I'm gonna do the math here. If I wanna create, um, a 10K month, which is $10,000 coming into my bank account with a $97 offer, that means I need to sell 103 $97 offers. That means I need 103 people to say, yes, I want your $97 offer, and they actually purchase it. Now, in order to get there, however, that doesn't mean that we just need to get that offer in front of 103 people. It means that we actually need to get that offer in front of at least 30% more, if not more. So when we take a look at the numbers, we wanna take a look at if you're doing email, if you have an email um, open rate, typically an email open rate on the good side is 5%, 5%, right? So if somebody is gonna open the email and click buy, that's gonna be about 5%, okay? So that means that we need to get that offer in front of, we need to have at least 2,200 around people actually open the email so that they then, so that 103 of them actually click the button and buy. It's about a 5% conversion rate. Now, in order for 2,200 people to actually open the email, that means we need to send it more. We need to plant even more seeds because not all the seeds are gonna grow, right? Not everybody is our ideal client. Not everybody's gonna open up their email that time. Uh, maybe some emails get caught in spam. They don't get delivered. People aren't opening it right. So that means that we actually need to get it in front of almost 10,000 people. Wow. Do we have a list that big? Do you have a list that big? Do you have a community that big? If you don't, what that means is that you don't have a big enough garden in which to plant the seeds. And so it's a lot easier than if we take a look at, all right, a one core main offer of $3,000, just one core main offer of $3,000 means that you, in order to create uh, eight to 10K a month, you need to sell 3.3, okay? So 3.3 offers, which means you need to get that in front of about 70 people. Okay, so that means that we're looking at 70 people opening up their email, and then out of those 70, uh, at least three, 3.3 will purchase. Which means in order for 70 people to actually open their email, it needs to go to more. So we're looking at about 300 to 500, right? 350, I think, is what the number came up when I did the math. Okay, now we're talking where we are in our business, especially when we're building and growing our business. Chances are you don't have a community or a list of 10,000 people or more, right? So trying to grow and build a business with a $97 offer is going to take a long time. It is going to be harder. You are going to need to make sure that you're in front of the right client. You're gonna make sure, need to make sure that your copy is absolutely on. You're going to need to make sure that you are attracting people and building your email list. There's a lot of work that goes in to selling a $97 offer. And so when you are seeing these coaches, um, and I'm just going to throw out some, some words here of people that I know that have lower have a business model with lower priced offers. And again, look, there's nothing wrong with a lower priced offer. It's just not the time and the place when you're trying to get cash into your business, when you're trying to create a $10,000 month or an eight to 10K month, you really don't want to be focusing on $97 offers. So let's take a look at Amy Porterfield, Marie Forleo, Jenna Kutchner, you know, these are all people that you might see in the coaching world right now um, that have lower end offers. They have $97 offers, $197 offers. I think Marie Forleo's is probably around 2000, so she's got a pretty high end offer. But here's the thing, my friends, they also have very, very large audiences, which means that they have enough people seeing it, they have enough people opening up their emails, they have enough people purchasing it in order for them to, to hit their goal. That's why I really wanna make sure that you know your numbers because I want you to be really super duper clear that if you don't have a large audience, and by the way, you don't need a large audience to hit six figures. Uh, you know, I actually created over half a million dollars in my business in one year, that's cash coming into the bank in one year, 
with less than a thousand people inside of a Facebook group. And I think I had around 1500 or so in my email list. So you don't need a large audience when you're focusing on a high-end offer. And here's the key that is delivering incredible value. So for those of you that did not see how to craft your high-end offer last Monday, I want you to go back and watch that um, or comment below that you want the replay. So type in replay if you need that. I think we took it down out of the Facebook group um, yesterday, but I do have it on my YouTube channel. I'll be happy to share that with you. I'm going to walk you through what actually needs to go into a high-end offer. It's not just a 90-day program. There are other things that we want to talk about when we're creating a high-end offer because what we want to do is give value. We want to create something that is going to create value you for the people that are purchasing it so that they're actually getting real results okay so again this is not just about the money I know in our head we think well surely more people would spend $97 than $3,000 offers well maybe but we still need to do the math here if 10 people purchase a $97 offer right how much income is that a thousand dollars versus if 10 people purchase your three thousand dollar offer we're looking at thirty thousand dollars so i want you to see that the time and the effort and the energy that it takes to actually attract your ideal client into your world to share and give them incredible value like i'm doing for you here and then inviting them to take ne the next step with you is a whole lot easier when you're focusing on one high-end offer and then even one middle offer. By the way, this is something that I teach inside of Six Figure Foundations. We're actually gonna be starting Six Figure Foundations on August 7th, so please come join me. This is where we get you all dialed in on the foundations of your business. I take you behind the scenes. I wanna make sure that you know exactly what your numbers are. I get you all set up with a high-end offer, middle-end offer, talk about a low-end offer, which is kind of like a bite-sized offer, but without giving away free coaching, without trying to book a gazillion discovery sessions, trying to take a stranger into a buyer, that doesn't mean that we don't have conversations, it just means we have conversations at the right time with the right people where they are in our ecosystem. So I'm gonna teach you how to create an ecosystem. I'm gonna teach you how to have a signature system because your signature system is the process with which you take people people along the pathway to get results and people are not buying based on dollars they're not buying based on a $97 offer or a $3,000 offer or a $5,000 offer they are investing based on results what are the results that they are going to get and so it's really really important that we're talking about results and you have a six-figure system right to help people get your people results if you don't have a signature system then you are left trying to sell yourself and trying to say come work with me because i'm absolutely amazing and i have this great 12-week program and we'll meet for 12 weeks over the course of three months and we'll have one hour sessions well those are all logistics my friends and people don't care about that people want to know what are the results? What do they get to walk away with? What is a program promise? Not a guarantee, but a program promise that people can expect by going through your signature framework, your signature process. So we're gonna get that dialed into. We're also gonna help you create a freebie. So again, we wanna attract the right people into our ecosystem, right? So when we're planting the seeds, we wanna make sure that we're planting the seeds where our people actually are. And we don't wanna to have to chase clients. We wanna use what we like to call this pull marketing which means that we are drawing people to us based on the value that we get to share, not chasing after people, trying to get them to buy. And in order to do that, you wanna have a high converting freebie that your people actually want. And so I'm gonna help you create that so that you can use that, you can put that on repeat and actually have people in your world raise their hand and say, yes, I want that. And when they do that, they're self-identifying as your ideal client so you know who is interested in what it is that you have to share, who's interested in getting value. So these are just a few of the core principles that you need to have dialed in in order to have a six-figure business. You cannot go any further if you don't have these things, my friend. And I did not learn that until after I graduated, right? So I have a certification as a functional nutritional therapy practitioner. 
I have a certification as a health coach. I have a certification as a life coach. I have a certification as a mastery transformational coach. I have a certification as a massage therapist and a yoga teacher. All of those certifications are amazing tools that I have actually helped my past clients over the past 30 years in the wellness industry, but not one of them taught me how to build a business. Not one of them taught me how to actually create a six-figure business and know what to do how to do it, when to do it, without feeling icky or salesy or slimy or just resorting to a lot of the old masculine sales tactics that we see out there. So my friend, if this is resonating with you, I want you to go ahead and type me in the chat. And if you would like to hop on a quick chat with me, again, I don't do these one hour discovery sessions. I will hop on a call with you and see if Six Figure Foundations might be a good fit for you where you are in your business, depending on what are some of the pieces that you've got dialed in. And if I think I can help you, and if I feel that we're a mutual fit, and it sounds like we really resonate, and you resonate want to learn with my method, um, then I'll invite you into Six Figure Foundations, and I'll give you some more of the details. I'm also going to pop down here in the comments. I'm going to leave the link so that you can go to Six Figure Foundations page, the information page. You can take a look at what's included. It's live coaching with me. This is not a DIY program. This is actually a live program where you have access. You can answer. I will answer your questions live. I will be laser coaching you live. We're doing it in an intimate group, which means everybody gets attention. Nobody walks away without their questions answered, um, which is really, really important to me. I run a very high touch connected business so that I've got time to actually serve my people. They actually, I get to know them, they get to know me. And that is part of building a, uh, what I like to call as a boutique business because we are taking fewer clients, but we're giving them lots and lots of value and helping them create lots and lots of results. So if that sounds good to you, I want you to go ahead and message me, chat, or you can pop chat in the comments for me and I will reach out to you and um, I will chat. We can just chat in Messenger. And if you feel that you want an actual phone conversation after we chat in Messenger, I'll be happy to share that link with you too. All right, my friends, know your numbers. So, so important. Join me inside Six Figure Foundations. I really want to help you get these critical foundational pieces dialed in so that you know what to do, how to do, get these things all up and running because there are people looking for you. There are people that need your support. Coaching is not yet mainstream. I promise you, I know it feels like it because we're around a lot of coaches, but there are people out there that are searching for the solution that you provide and I want to help you get in front of them so that they can find you. And I want you to feel confident. I want you to feel capable. I want you to feel clear that you've got a really great business strategy and your system's all set up so you can actually get there. All right, my friends, I hope you have a great Monday. I will see you back here next week and uh, we will be diving in to, to something next, something juicy. By the way, if you've got something that you want me to teach, if you've got something that you would like me to share, let me know. Just send me a message um, and say, hey, Chris, we would do a training about XYZ, whatever that is, where to find clients. Um, and if I have a free handout or if I have a resource based on what it is that you're asking me, I will absolutely share that with you or I'll do a free training on it. If I don't, I'll create one for you. All right. Have a great evening. Bye. Mwah.